Hi traders, welcome back to Traders Corner. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about the moment of Bank Nifty and Nifty and the levels for tomorrow. Okay, so to begin with, uh, let's see uh, how Nifty and Bank Nifty performed as per my studies analysis. Okay, this is what I have mentioned yesterday. You can see in my chart very clearly, I have given the levels. If it is a gap down, how the market can move and etc. Okay, let's uh, move into the charts. Okay, this is what I have given yesterday. <clears throat> By chance, if there is a gap down, and if the price bounces from this area, and you have, if you have a follow-up candle, you can initiate a buy, and you can keep the target as this one, and you can close your trade. And I have mentioned, by chance, if market goes to this range, uh, it might consolidate for a while, and again, it will reject from this area and if it breaks this level it will further come down to these levels so what has happened like uh, it has happened like uh, other way market uh, did not gap down too much instead it opened from high and uh, <clears throat> it gave a strong closing below this uh, level which i have mentioned these two and also I have told you very clearly, wait for two consecutive candles, wait for a pullback to happen, look for proper risk reward ratio and initiate a trade. So even if you have not uh, initiated trade in this pullback, you can see there is a small tiny triangle over here. Even I have marked here, it gave a breakout. And even if you have, might have uh, made your entry below this low, easily you might have got around 36.921 to at least here. At least 100 points you might have gained in this. Again, over here I have mentioned in this level, if the market breaks this level with a strong selling candle, these could be the next targets. See what has happened. It came here, gave a pullback, again a strong closing below this one. And the first target, it gave the first target, gave another pullback, and it came close enough to the second target. Okay. And it didn't go down further. On the other hand, like, uh, it took support in this area again it came here rejected from this area and again strong closing over this like here i have mentioned after bounce back if there is a strong green candle over here the target could be this level so it has happened like little bit uh, ulta in this case you can say but uh, whatever the levels and rejection areas whatever i have mentioned it clearly respected and then only it has given all the targets see until here and let's see what has happened in nifty as well i think nifty is the top match see here i have mentioned i expected a gap down but it didn't happen like i have mentioned if it break this level it might go down and here again all those things and uh, even as per my uh, analysis even if it did not give a sell off in these two area i have mentioned in this level you can see the, with the green mark if you get a strong rejection from this zone you can initiate a trade and uh, you can wait for a higher target i have mentioned here and also i have mentioned this trend line would act as a strong uh, resistance and if it breaks this it might go to the next levels so as per my analysis i did not uh, i have mentioned it might be a gap down and so it might go further 
and uh, it happened other way but if you uh, if you might have looked for the second half it took a strong rejection from this area i have mentioned this is the first target second target this trend line is 17461 so it came here and exactly it has given the levels okay so these two were the performance of bank nifty and nifty for today 21st so let's see uh, what is for tomorrow and guys i would like to say once again to be successful in trading be your own analyst try to learn of your own take your trade of your own don't rely on anyone see even today the market it was falling heavily if you might have uh, if you know how to read a chart you need not depend on anyone even you need not see my videos okay so try to learn how to uh, mark your support and resistance identify price action and uh, you need not depend on, on anyone and you can be your own analyst and if you want to keep trading as a career kindly please learn how to take trade of your own that's very much important okay so to start with saying to an extent it has made inside bar in weekly as i have said this is a strong resistance sorry support so that's why it has even with the heavy fall it bounces back okay and next comes is your day chart you see how it has responded the weekly buy level after this fall tomorrow it can be a chop sideways day is trying to find a proper zone all right this is going to be a strong supply zone this is a strong selling area this is next one selling one levels and this can act as a strong buy level so this is also a strong level over level even this is a strong demand so we have so many restrictions on top side one two so if it is a flat opening market might consolidate for a while over this area strong resistance support because of too much uh, drop there is too many confusions and like normal days there are too many resistance and support for the market to go up and down i think we can expect a range bound market for this week
again even this is a strong support okay these are the levels for bank nifty tomorrow i'm not sure like uh, i can expect a flat to anything depend upon where markets so the key levels it can be approximate levels close enough Okay, I feel it's going to be a tough zone for Nifty to move tomorrow because there is too much uh, before any drop. There was too much of consolidations, so this will lack us a strong support and resistance, and it can be more tricky day tomorrow. I hope so. So anyway, once for all, like this will be a strong support if market opens flat or to. gap up or gap down like once if price comes to this area for sure it will bounce back if it is giving any solid reversal candle for sure we can expect a movement here and again it need to consolidate and we need to break this levels decisively with a strong green candle if it goes here then you can expect levels to go further this is on the buy side okay same if it gaps down and if it rejects from this area it will come to this level it will try to consolidate and it might try to go up okay and by chance if it breaks this level with a solid red candle you can expect range bond to sell off to this level and it can be a this can be also a strong uh, demand zone why because after coming here this was the point where it took a retracement and went up so any green candle over this area price will try to go up okay and only in case if it breaks down then you can expect bank nifty to go down further but i don't think so because of the way it has given reversal today and today is also nothing but uh, cyclic reversal day and the same it happened so this was a trend reversal and it can be like uh, what to say mm. any dip it can be a buy very less chances for bank nifty to come to this level let's see what happens tomorrow so after a huge downfall and upside rally and i hope uh, we might uh, expect too much of sideways tomorrow and we may not expect too much volatility tomorrow so take trade initiate any trade only in the zones I, as i said yesterday trade only in the zones don't initiate any trade in this area or in this area or in between anywhere if you want to make a sell if you get a rejection candle in this area go for sell and anything over this in the demand zone if we get a green rejection candle you can initiate a buy wait for a target here if it breaks down wait for uh, another 5 minutes uh, 
confirmation candle let the price retest this area and then you initiate a trade and you can wait for a lower side target same way if it breaks the resistance on top and if you get the solid green candle and if you get another confirmation then you wait for a pullback to happen let it come down and then initiate a trade then you can go for higher targets so that uh, your risk reward ratio will be very good always take your trade based on your risk levels okay this is my simple analysis for tomorrow there is not much views because it's too much congested area okay something wrong resolution is too uh, okay and so uh, we'll go to 15 minutes See what a day today it is Okay, I have posted in my channel too. If you guys need any views about Nifty Bank Nifty or about any stocks, you can subscribe to my trading view or to my YouTube channel as well. If you have any doubts or queries, please feel free to ask me. I will clarify whatever I know. Okay, so let's have the view for Nifty next. I think. Uh, there won't be any too much of adjustment for tomorrow. I think I have explained already how market has reacted. See, market has exactly re respected to all the levels mentioned. The lower side will remain intact, I hope. And let's see what are the levels on the upper side. Okay, this will remain the same selling zone. Okay, so currently we are here. And any levels on the upper side, it remains the same. It's not much changes. There are tiny hurdles over here. They might break and go. Okay.
even this level stays intact okay so there is not no but too much change in nifty levels It has broken and it has given a trend reversal already. So tomorrow, if market comes to this area, I hope there will be a selling once again. This is the support. So these are the levels for Nifty. Okay, if market gaps up or flat opening, and if it goes up to this area, for sure we can expect a sell-off to happen. And if it rejects from this area, then you can expect Nifty to come to this area. And from here, we can expect market to bounce. And if it goes here, Again, it will go to this range, depend upon it comes down or it is the type of candle rejection which is going to give, it will decide whether Nifty will move up or not. So this is even this like little bit of confused uh, level. Any solid closing about this can initiate a trade with a follow-up candle I mean if you get one solid green candle and followed by another green which gives a confirmation market can go up further so in that case you can initiate a trade okay and in case market if it breach this level the solid red with another confirmation candle you can initiate a trade for sell side you can buy put wait for retracement and you can expect this as a first target followed by second okay so this is my till analysis for tomorrow uh, there's still not too much views in bank nifty for the moment you can see it's a clear double bottom and it has reached uh, I think it can be the 0.5 or 0.618 selling levels so if you get a strong rejection from this area and after rejecting from here and if again nifty sells off from this area you can expect further fall to this and to today's low and even you have a trend line over here make sure the market doesn't breaches it by any chance if market breaks this one trend line plus rejection in this area it's a clear indication for a sell to a target of 15 17 547 and any further sell happen below this level then you can expect 17 Okay, friends, I will just add uh, another stock for you along with this analysis. Okay, for the moment, if you see like uh, UPL is currently in 
75 ஃபைவ் மினிட்ஸ் அண்ட் டெய்லி டைம் ஃப்ரேம் ஸ்ட்ராங் சப்போர்ட் இட் ஹஸ் ரிஜெக்ஷன் ரிஜெக்டட் ஃப்ரம் திஸ் ஏரியா பை சான்ஸ் இஃப் மார்க்கெட் ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் ரிஜெக்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் கம் டு திஸ் ஏரியா யூ கேன் இனிஷியேட் எட் ரேட் யுவர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டார்கெட் இட் கேன் பி செவன் ஃபார்ட்டி ஒன் அண்ட் ஃபர்தர் இஃப் இட் சஸ்டைன்ஸ் தெர் இஸ் அ பாசிபிலிட்டி ஃபார் இட் டு கோ டு செவன் செவன்டி நைன் and in case if there is a gap up we can go to this level it will reject from here this can be your first target so this is my tiny analysis for upl it's because the market after huge fall the stock is coming to a strong sub, uh, demand zone so you can initiate your trade either in this level or uh, if you get a gap up and if there is any pull back you can initiate trade and you can wait for a target of first target of 742 second one 779 and uh, uh okay we have automobile sector for tomorrow okay you can see today's level like uh, these were the levels for bazaar jato it went up it got rejected from here it made a double top it came to this level and before touching our level it has given a rejection from this area so it has taken an entry already and if you see 15 minutes chart by chance if market sustains and if it breaks today's high you can go for a buy for a first target of 3750 second target of 3772 and always ensure uh, your entries are based on risk reward ratio if i give two targets it doesn't mean it will hit both whenever the price reaches the first target based on the price action and candle stick pattern form you kindly please initiate a trade and after seeing this uh, i'm just giving a view we may not know how market will react tomorrow so do not initiate any trade blindly have your own analysis and you can do it bacha jata hero motor pop okay so even if we see here it has spun strongly from weekly resistance weekly support and also if we calculate uh, fib it got rejected exactly from 0.786 to 0.618 so if we get a proper uptrend we can expect better targets it was like a higher high higher low higher high higher low and it is on right entry point so the immediate targets it can be first second okay these are the levels apart from that if we calculate a fib extension it is exactly 0.618 there is a high probability for the stock to achieve 0.618 Okay, friends okay so the price currently on a daily time frame it got rejected from same area with which it has got broken and it has retested so this is a very good stock for a swing trade actually you can initiate a trade look for a smaller target like a uh, first target can be 2910 second it can be 
and any stronger candle closing above this range for sure the first target it can be 2995 and the second further is 3050 and the final one 3090 Long and then chart patterns. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any queries or doubts, anything about stock or analysis or anything, kindly do post in the comment section given below. Trade safely, save your capital, save your profits. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching my video.